I think there's value in just seeing how you do things versus how somebody else is, somebody else is going to do it. Especially like with your understanding of where everything is, how you warm up and how you calibrate is going to be much different than somebody else that's just learning how to shoot, right? So I think that's interesting in itself. Whereas like with somebody with Zach, it's much more uh, regimented because I have certain things that I need to look out for while he also has to be mindful for. Brandon, just to let you know, um, Rance is now 6'5". According, according to his, uh, according to E-Town's website, he's six foot, he's six foot five. So it's crazy. He's still growing at, how old are you? 21. Still growing at 21 years old. Imagine that. I'm still growing too. So Rance and I were talking even before just about the idea of sequence. And you can see when he comes up to his two, how he gets to that two position, elbow to the rim, and then everything, everything from there is just going to go to the basket. And it's just that whole idea of how patient can you be with your lower half as that ball starts to make its way to the two, as to not attach everything underneath it too early. Good. But I just think there's so much value in slowing things down, kind of calibrating, and really just feeling what it is that you're trying to do, whether that be the connection you're trying to establish, the sequence you're trying to establish. And going slow isn't a bad thing. Slow, we can feel. Feeling is a, such a big piece of everything. Good, Rance. I think it's also worth noting that Rance's jump shot two years ago, two and a half, three years ago, looked completely <laughs> different. Come a long way, man. So on all one foot shots, not only do you challenge your balance, which is a really good thing, but generally on one foot shots, it forces the proper sequencing as well. So that ball is always going to get that head start that it needs. It also eliminates a variable. So there's always, there's a popular conversation going right now about the value of one foot shots. A lot of players shoot really well off of one foot because it takes away the variable of the second foot. And if there's no variable of the second foot, we're just pushing off the ground evenly off the one each time. Whereas when we go on to two feet, a lot of times, depending if you're right-handed or left-handed, we go heavy one side versus the other. More you can go full foot down on that one. Good range. Excellent. So almost everything we do, especially off the initial catch and shoots, if you're standing still, if you're by yourself, all that kind of stuff, is we go drop, because a drop gets us to the floor and balance quicker. Let's start with drops off the slide. Right, so we'll go all top of the key. Let's go, let's go six makes, slide into our right, and then six makes, slide into our left. And then just make your, your whole concentration just be on initiating contact, go home as quickly as you can, 
feet hit the ground and let's get that ball moving. All right? But get that ball moving. And just like we talked about elbow to the rim, legs attached, just be as disciplined as possible with it. Great job, Rand. Good verticality there on that shot, too. Two. Fast, fast. Move it. There you go. That's one. Beautiful. Other way. You can see here that he's doing a really good job going full foot to the ground. And we're not always going to be able to get the full foot to the ground. But the more down we can get, the best. Six. Great job. Let's go corner. Get him up. One. Get him up. Once you plant, hold on. Once you plant, see if with that right foot doesn't dance as much. So when you come up, you're up, you're down, stay planted instead of up, moving it. Okay? Quiet everything. There you go. Yeah. Excellent. Three. When you raise, just for that, watch, when you raise, don't even come out of, it, out of it as much as you are. Just here and then down. You don't, you're not gonna need to sell it. One. Two, good range. Let it go, baby. Stay in that shot, don't walk away from it. Admire it. Three, beautiful. Beautiful. A lot of people ask to teach fadeaways, but if you put a player in a fade situation, they're going to move the ball accordingly. So you have to move the ball super fast to get to a point of leverage where you can do something with it. If you don't, you're dead in the water. One more. I was going to dunk it back. Like in all actuality, you are a 90% free throw shooter, in my opinion. There you go. Start where you started. And now we'll just add more, a little bit more movement. So just a slight, you're coming down jog here. Some action's happening here. You recognize this way. Coming right into that catch and shoot. We'll go five. I'll leave the footwork up to you. You can go one, two, or obviously you can go, you can go drop. I feel like you're much faster than me, like much more athletic than me. But this side, I was always one, two. Yeah. Because that shoulder's already aligned. Yeah. So I was always, that was quicker for me. I feel like coming off that way, I just didn't do it. Yeah. Just because I didn't want to shoot, I didn't want to shoot that shot. But no one, but no one dropped either. Everything was always one, two, so that shoulder had to come around so far. I'm gonna watch that left foot, just don't go heavy on it. Find that balance, find that stillness. That's it, man. It's like a mini meditation there, you get balanced. Two more, Rance. I'm blocking this one. Hey! CACC Defensive Player of the Year, four times in a row, 2005 to 2009. They never put it, they never put it down in writing, but everybody knew.
Really go get that ball, Rance. Time is of the essence for you. Two. Oh, bad pass. My bad. Three. Not a point guard. Hell yeah, man. That balance is beautiful there. It, bring it back, shot fake, and now one dribble pull up to this three point line. Bounce. Where'd he go get that ball, too? So, the, the big thing here, the further away we get, the earlier we want those hands because we have to drive that ball up through our shot line. So if our hands are laid, it makes that shot that much more difficult. Two more. That's excellent. That's excellent. Good. Balance is going to be tough. But you have to think too, like, if you can find your balance back out of this, you can find your balance anywhere. Cause you're, you're, shifting that, you're shifting that weight so much, so much movement up top too. One. Going back heavy a little bit. I know it's gonna be tough. Just try to get off that back foot when the time comes. I think the hardest part about this is your upper body gets tired. Beautiful. I keep telling Rance not to go heavy left. So what I mean by that is, let's, let's just catch on a drop. So I, all, what you'll see is drop, right? So what you'll see a lot of players do is they'll put all the weight here. And you can see it because their body's tilted that way a little bit. So I can see it from, from just looking at the legs to know if, he, if he's, if he's uh, heavy left or not. But a lot of players too, what you'll see is this. You'll see the slight tilt of the shoulders this way. So if we're here like this, we're already at a disadvantage because now we gotta shift everything back through the shot to, get to, uh, to push through on balance. So everything that we're doing on the drops, with everything that Rance does especially, or any player, is that the more we can go drop straight down and then evenly push off of the floor, the more we take away any variability that's happening in the shot. So we don't want to sabotage everything we do from the waist up just because our balance is a little bit off on our catch. Get that ball moving, Rance. Get that ball moving after that reset. Three. Four, game ball. Hands, hands. Right, just make it your mission. Go get it. Hit on that quick drop, just like you did on like so well on that last uh, jab, pump fake, one dribble pull up. Get to the ground quick, man. Catch it, get to the ground, and let's get that thing moving. One. Stay in your shot, don't walk away from me. Two. Three. Ooh, 
might look good, but you walked away from it. Stay in it. Two more. Four. Five. You did a great job, everything there. Especially that last dribble, boom, right in that pocket, right into that shot. This would be a great example of as much as we wanna get full foot down, we're not gonna get the full thing down. But still make it your concentration, how much full foot can I get down? So you're still more on balance than you were if, if, if you weren't able to. Two. Top of the key, Rams, catch and shoot, five. Great, I like that. Two. Heavy left. Three. Three, two, one. So on the on those pulls, on those hangs, what's the key though? Yeah. As long as you can keep your level until you're until you're actually able to go through. Just don't let your body go too quick. Three, two, one. Nice. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Two more. If you, even when you come back off that, off that hang, load those hands. So when it's here, have it loaded. Don't, don't go on top because then you're just making it more complicated. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. That's it. Much better. You were going like alligator arms. One more. Three, two, one. Good. Shade contact with that ball. One, two, three, four, last one. That was beautiful hands on that one. That was quiet. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Yeah, that's gonna be tough not going heavy that way. Three, two, one. That was good. That was really good. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Lucky. Three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, one, two, three, four.
I want every, everybody to hear that I think I said on the last little thing that Brandon and I did, I was like, anybody can be great, anybody can be great, great shooter, but not everybody is. Like, Rance has come so far in his ability to shoot the basketball, and there's no accidents in that. Like, you don't wake up one day and all of a sudden have a jump shot, but he's the kind of kid that I literally have to beg him to take days off. And then during, like during COVID, couldn't feel his hands outside, just working to get things right, working to get things right. And he understands things on a level that so, so few people do. So like what we're doing here, it's just cool to see how he puts everything together because the, the, work, that he, the work that he's put in clearly shows in, in his ability to shoot the basketball. And I, I don't even think he's, I think he would agree he's not even where he can be in terms of shooting it yet. And still has this year and then two more years of college left. So it'll be cool to see. Two more. Last one. Socks on tie, dude. Socks on tie. France. France. Socks on tie, dude.